The golden age of science in Islam is long gone. A new center for science emerges 500 meters above the Holy Kaaba and behind the clock face of the world's largest clock tower. The King Abdullah Center for Crescent Observation and Astronomy. It's a connection to the scientific world. Also from the Islamic point of view, we want the people to go from here directly to Kaaba and there is a connection, for example, for example, the movements of the galaxies, the movements of the planets around the sun, the movements of the electrons around the nucleus. It's exactly the same like the people downstairs in Kaaba making the tawaf. King Abdullah, King Abdullah himself made the effort to reintroduce science to Saudi Arabia. These are robotic stations around the world which observe the moon and transmit the information to Mecca. We can see how the moon will set in Chile and rise in Hawaii. Our goal is to create a common calendar for the Islamic community. It is a great honor and responsibility to have these valuable objects be displayed at a holy place for generations to come. Three, two, one. Thanks to the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, I will build the best moon ever. So this is a lunar globe, right? And this is what I'm used to seeing, not something that's that big. I feel like I'm in orbit around the moon. It's fantastic. It makes me want to go even more than I did before.